Back in late 2014 and early 2015, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II underwent some extensive climate testing, which took place at the McKinley Climatic Laboratory, which is part of the U.S. Air Force's 96th test wing at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. The F-35 Bravo arrived at Eglin in September of 2014 for a planned six-month assessment with testing wrapping up in March of 2015. Now, the McKinley Climatic Laboratory is the world's largest climatic testing chamber, and it simulates extreme conditions in side of a massive controlled hangar. Temperatures could reach as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, including freezing rain, icing clouds, ice buildup, vortex icing, and snow. The guy that was there as the test pilot conducting the extreme cold starts and operations name was Billy Flynn. Now, the whole purpose of this experiment was to certify the jet for global deployment in environments from the Australian outback to the Arctic. This testing ensured that the F-35 could operate reliably for any of our partner forces in nations that have harsh climate climates like Norway, Canada, Scandinavia, things like that. Additionally, it formed a key part of the program's push towards initial operational capability for the U.S. Marine Corps F-35 Bravo in July of 2015. Now, outside of the McKinley Laboratory, there was some natural cold weather testing that took place in 2017 and 2018 in Alaska in order to validate operations in real Arctic conditions.